are the portraits of the former Speaker of the National Assembly, who is currently uh, the Attorney General, Honorable Justin Muturi, and the far right is the current Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Moses Witangula. On your screen, on your screen is the Sergeant at Arms, uh, followed by the Maces, that is on the right, the Mace of the National Assembly, on the left, uh, the Mace of the, the Senate, carried there, and uh, the Clerk of the Senate, and followed by the President, accompanied by the Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate. I will now hand you over for this live broadcast of this special sitting of Parliament, the bicameral house is sitting this afternoon for the State of the Nation Address. My name is Edward Kabasa. Enjoy your viewing. Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Right Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Members, let us pray. Almighty God, we beseech you to behold with abundant favor and blessings us, your servants, whom you have been pleased to call to leadership positions in this Republic. We seek guidance to treat and consider all matters that shall come under deliberation in so just and faithful a manner as to advance the peace prosperity and welfare of our country and of those whose interests have committed to our charge. Amen. You may be seated.
order, honorable members. Your Excellency, the Honorable Dr. William Samoy Ruto, CGH, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, the Right Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, the Honorable Moses Wetangula, AGH MP, Honorable Members of Parliament. Article 132.1 of the Constitution of Kenya requires the President to address the special sitting of Parliament of Kenya once every year and at any other time. Further, Article 132.1c requires the President to, among others, once every year, report in an address to the nation all the measures taken and the progress achieved in the realization of the national values set out in Article 10 of the Constitution. In addition, Article 240, subsection 7 of the Constitution requires the President, in his capacity as the chairperson of the National Security Council, to report to Parliament annually on the state of the security of the Republic. In this regard, therefore, pursuant to Article 132, 1b, and C1 and 2 of the Constitution, the Presidency, via the letter reference number OP, stroke cap, dot 26, stroke 4A, volume 2, stroke 52, inform the speakers of the Houses of Parliament of the in intention of His Excellency, the President, to deliver his address to Parliament. Consequently, pursuant to standing order number 25-1 and 2 of the Senate, I gave notice of today's special sitting to the Honorable Senators by Gazette Notice number 14716 which was published in the Kenya Gazette on Friday 3rd, November 2023. Accordingly, honorable members, this special sitting is properly convened. I thank you. Your Excellency, Honorable Dr. William Samoy Ruto, CGH, President of the Republic of Kenya, and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. The Right Honorable Amazon King, EGHMP, Honorable Speaker of the Senate. Honorable Members of Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Article 131B, 1321B of the Constitution of Kenya requires the President to address the nation once every year and at any other time. Further, Article 1321C requires the President to once every year report in an address to the nation on measures taken and progress achieved in the realization of our national values. Additionally, Article 1321C, Roman 3 of the Constitution provides that the President shall submit a report for debate to the National Assembly on the progress made in fulfilling the international obligations of the Republic. In this regard, honorable members, by way of a message to the House dated 26 September 2023, His Excellency the President conveyed his desire to address a joint sitting of the Houses of Parliament today, 9th November 2023. Therefore, pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 22 of the National Assembly Standing Orders, and by Gazette Notice number 14715, which was published in the Kenya Gazette on 3rd November 2023, I gave notice of this special sitting of Parliament to the members of the National Assembly. Accordingly, honorable members, this special sitting is properly convened. Your Excellency, in the custom of Parliament, we recognize invited guests seated in our galleries. I therefore wish to recognize the following guests who are seated in the speaker's row. Her Excellency Rachel Ruto, EGH, First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, and other members of the First Family. His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Kashagwa, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and the spouse of the Deputy President, Her Excellency Pastor Dokas Rigadi. The Honorable Musalia Mudavadi EGH, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, 
and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Your Excellency Honorable Members, also present in the Speaker's role this afternoon are the Honorable Lady Justice Mother Kome, EGH Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court, Her Lady Justice Flomela Mbete Mwilu, MGH Deputy Chief Justice and Vice President of the Supreme Court, they are accompanied by Honorable Justice Eric Ogola, Principal Judge, the High Court, Honorable Justice Oscar Angote, Presiding Judge in Environmental and Land Court, and Honorable Justice Brian Ongaya, MBS, Principal Judge, Employment and Labor Relations Court. We are similarly pleased to host the former Vice President of the Republic, the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, AGH, who is also the co-chair of the National Dialogue Committee. We are also honored to have in our midst the immediate former speakers of the Houses of Parliament, the Honorable Justin B.N. Muturi, EGH, who is the current Attorney General of the Republic, and the Honorable Kenneth Lusaka, EGH, the Governor of Bungoma County. Your Excellency, allow me to also recognize the chairperson of the Council of Governors, who is also the Governor of Kirinyaga County, the Honorable Ann Waiguru, EGH, and the Honorable Johnson Sakaja, Governor of Nairobi City County. May I also accord special recognition to all Cabinet Secretaries present, Mr. Felix Kosge, Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service, Principal Secretaries, members of the Diplomatic Corps, and heads of constitutional commissions and independent offices present in Parliament today. Your Excellency, I wish to make a special mention of the Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, and the respective service commanders, the Inspector General of Police, and other leaders of our disciplined forces who are seated at the Speaker's role. We are grateful for their distinguished service to the nation. To all invited guests, Karibuni Sana Kwabunge. Honorable members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my singular honor and privilege to invite His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces to address this special sitting of Parliament. Welcome, President. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you very much, honorable members.